pastored by the most finest pastor in town. I'm a fine boy. I believe in God. I am prophetic. I'm apostolic. You may not like me, but you can't take it from me. I stand as your pastor and I bless you. You can never have it anywhere than in the house of God. Faith word. Give the Lord honor and bless his name in the auditorium. Wow. I feel like dancing. Let's go ahead and be seated. I want to bless my beautiful wife, Rebecca, the most gorgeous, the most beautiful, the most sexy, the, the, the most all. You see jealousy in your eyes. Ina, 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 Ina. I, <laughs> I realize in this world, Nobody will celebrate you better than how you celebrate yourself, isn't it? Uh-huh. You know, so I thank God for her. I bless God for the only woman by my side. The only cockroach in my toilet. The only mosquito in my bed net. In fact, in fact, the only salt in my soup. <laughs> I want to celebrate the gentle giant in the house, the only Reverend Cornelius Kakraba. You are welcome from Nigeria. I bless God for your life. You are welcome to the house with your beautiful wife, Genevieve. Auntie Genevieve, we thank God for your life. We salute you with all your beautiful children. Faith word is blessed. I don't know how to describe the blessings of God in this house. It's awesome. I want to thank God also for the most diplomatic pastor, Reverend Ikli Ohini Obin, and the wife, Auntie Vic, who is with the future leader department this morning. We thank God for you. I feel so blessed and so proud to see wonderful people like you around me it's always a blessing it's always something i cherish i feel very motivated whenever i see you around god bless you for your input your support and all the beautiful things you keep doing in the house of god <laughs> hallelujah i will want to acknowledge the most celebrated choir in town the faith dynamics choir god bless you wonderful people you are looking very awesome i appreciate you i want to acknowledge the best protocol you can ever have god bless you all the protocol officers god bless you god bless you you are looking beautiful i appreciate you i want to thank god for my engineers in the cage mr redu and Still the champion bridegroom in church, Mr. <laughs> Desmond Okai, God bless you and your people. I want to thank God for those at the media department. I acknowledge God for you. I thank God for the ushering. Um, God bless you for the good work you're doing for us. I want to acknowledge the logistics. And the finance people, manager, Cletus, and your people, God bless all of you. I love you. I thank God for your life. I want to celebrate God for your life. It's such a beautiful thing to see people like you around and all the wonderful things you are doing in the house. I thank God for um, every one of you for the input you are making in the church. Without you, I won't be a pastor. I acknowledge you. Clap for yourself. I want to continue with my series on the opposition to faith. And today, I want to look at the last opposition to faith. 
and I choose to entitle what I'm preaching, Contending with the World. Contending with the World. We have seen that in God raising us and building us in the faith, which is an essential commodity in the spirit for every Christian to walk a victorious life, the enemy has some agents he uses to fight every Christian in attaining to the ultimate in the work of faith. And we have seen so far two agents. We have seen that the enemy can employ your own self, which is your flesh, as a weakness in you to defeat your faith. And so your flesh is the first enemy. And then we have also seen that the world we live in, the Bible talks about the deceitfulness of the, uh, the troubles of the world we live in as an agent for fighting your faith. We have seen Satan as an enemy who uses everything available in this world to fight us. Today, I want to talk about this world and the things in the world which the enemy uses to fight us in your work with God in this faith journey. And so we want to backtrack our scripture. The foundation scripture had been the gospel of St. Matthew, chapter number 13, the verse 18 through to 23. I want to be finishing this thing quick, and then we go home. The gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 13, the verse 18 through to 23. Please, can we have it on the projector? Very snappy. All right. The Bible says, Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one and catch it away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. Okay? But he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receive it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but endureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that receiveth seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word. And the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches shook the word. So this is where I want to stay today. This is why I, I, I wish you highlight this particular uh, test in this chapter for me. The Bible says, you hear the word, you receive the word, but the word is sown in tongues, and the tongues represents the world and the things in it, being the deceitfulness of riches, which choke the word, and he become unfruitful. But he that receiveth seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understand it, which also beareth fruit, and bringeth forth some a hundred, some sixty, and some thirty. And so we have seen so far four classes of people that hears the word. And all the four classes, we have apportioned them to have 25% of growth chance, giving us a total of 100%. And only 25% of people who hear the word anytime we preach are said to become fruitful. It means that um, when you are a pastor, a deacon, an elder, you preach, you must be very conscious of these enemies and know about 75% of your congregation do not profit from the message you preach. So right now that I'm preaching, a lot of you are hearing the word, but depending on your preparation, depending on your prayer life, depending on your readiness for the message, the word may or may not profit you. And those who profit in the word, most often according to Jesus' uh, explanation to this parable, are just 25%. Meaning, for the word to profit a congregation in a higher extent, a pastor must learn to preach it again and again and again, repetitiously, before this word that is preached will penetrate into the hearts of majority of the people. And when I say to penetrate, I mean to bring them to a place of understanding. When you hear the word, it is not just the inspiration or the power that comes with the word, which is necessary. People can be inspired. 
They can be excited. They can sow. They can be happy in church. In um, appreciation to a message, the amount of God is preaching. But the extent to which the word is able to stick into your heart to give you enlightenment, understanding, is what determines the profitability of the word. If the word does not bring you into the realms of spiritual understanding, ladies and gentlemen, you hear the word, but the word does not bear forth fruits. And that is why most of our churches are full of carnal people. There are people who are in church, they pray in tongues, they give offering, they do everything and participate in everything that the church or the congregation is doing, but they do not grow and they are not spiritual. Anytime they face challenges or the enemy, they lack ideas up front and the enemy use them for pepper soup. I pray for you today that as you hear this word, the word will burst forth and be fruitful in your heart, that when you leave church, you will apply the word to overcome every challenges of your life. I'm preaching. I said I'm preaching. And so this enemy called the world, being the third agent, yourself, Satan, and the world are the three main agents that fight your faith. But this third agent comes with other three agents. Everybody say the agent comes with other three agents. So we want to look at those three agents and then see how we can use prayer, fasting, and the same faith we look for to contend with them. Now, if you read the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 19, you are going to see that the Bible talks about the, uh, the desires of the flesh or the works of the flesh. The Bible said, for the work, now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness. The list goes on and on and on. You see that the enemy uses this flesh. We need to be able to it may not necessarily be what God really wants for you. The flesh, this body, is always craving, for, <coughs> sorry, the body is always craving for certain things, craving for some comfort, craving for food, craving for sex. The body is craving for certain things. Those things the body craves for, Whenever that craving comes, whether it is in the will of God, whether it is against the will of God, whether God approves it or not, it doesn't matter God's opinion and what his word says. Ladies and gentlemen, if the craving of your flesh is after you and you don't really pray for grace, you may give up your faith and you may trade away the word of God in your heart and do something that the enemy will use to destroy you tomorrow. And so many, many people are in church, they are serving God, they come to church to pray, they are fasting, they are giving offering, you see their life, and you are uh, like, oh wow, this is a powerful Christian. But when they are alone, the things they do with their flesh, the things they crave for, the things they are always prone to doing with this body, makes them disconnected from God. The enemy will have his own way of making this flesh crave for certain things which will make you go against the will of God. Praise God. And so, in 1 John chapter 2, the verse 15 to 16, we see that God, through his word, again, please give us 1 John. The book of 1 John give us insight into this. He said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, please look at them very well. We are, we are picking them out. We are, we are on the world. God is warning his children about the world. The same world you live in. The same world who gives you a habitation, a place of survival, a place of joy, a place to have your livelihood. The enemy uses the same world as an opposition to your faith. But 
or categorizing it into three. Or see, the last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, and the pride of life. So we want to look at those things that he uh, mentions in this three category. He said, this thing is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Do you see it? So the world is an opposition to what the Father wishes for you and I. Ojidi ni biya niema onyame adini mu eni ni sisi mu ni ni domu o prese o pese o ma wonsa kana so o pese uti mu achieve no wo wi ase we no e you see sa agent mi en san we e de fight sa onyame apede no e di sa o betimi aso nyame yere sa wonti ase e ni wuni mu dia wasa ni ma mi en san we wo no e na no po onyame on kon kon e de ehan to so ma na wuti mi nya wan wo de ni hwe sa ni ma mi en san we yi so you can stand the test of the devil I'm preaching. So he said, the last of the flare. You want to look at the flare. Everybody said, we want to digest the flare this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we want to look at the flares. Um, please bring me to Matthew chapter number four, the verse uh, three and four. Jesus Christ himself being our savior, when he came to this world, had to contend with the flesh. So the flesh. It's not a respecter of your title. You can be a pastor. You can be a prophet. I'm a pastor. I have come to fleshly temptations in my work with God several times. In fact, I've fallen before. Are you getting what I'm saying? And I was still blasting in tongues. You'll be blasting. The devil is a liar and you are doing it. You know you are doing it. Don't look at me like that. I'm in church. I'm preaching. <laughs> I said, I'm preaching, I'm preaching. And, 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 and it, it doesn't respect your title. Sometimes I hear a professor of a university is sleeping with a student. And But when this craving of your flesh comes and he says, go sleep with this young lady or this young man, you, you, you will not have any fear of God or any reason why you shouldn't do it. You must have a certain inner ability to resist the desire of the flesh. And to whom I'm no, ladies and gentlemen, it holds your spirit and gives you a place to survive on this earth. But if you don't tame it with fasting, with prayer, and with the fear of God, this flesh can mislead you into sin. I pray that the Lord will empower you today over your flesh, that the flesh will never become an obstacle to your faith. Is somebody blessed here? So Jesus fought the flesh and said, the Bible said, and when the tempter came to him, who is the tempter? Who is the tempter? Church, I can't hear you. Who is the tempter? So the devil doesn't respect anybody when it comes to your flesh. This is Jesus, who, the son of God, the one that prophets foretold his birth. They foretold his life. They foretold his death and resurrection. You, of course, you are my I don't know who spoke about you. I don't even know how your mother conceived you. Some of you don't know your fathers. Mommy went to funeral. A man had her by the time she realized she was pregnant. But this is a man that the Bible said he is not just an ordinary man, he is God incarnate, God in a man form on earth. Onyamia wafa. Onipa su any onipa bobra tuni wants to say onipa the senior basa has so Satan was not afraid though and he went to tempt him and watch it he didn't use anything his own flesh the Bible said he said if that be the son of God command that these stones be made bread but he answered and said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that what Proceed out of the mouth of God. The flesh was craving for food. The flesh of Christ, the Son of God, God in a man, form. You see, it doesn't matter how spiritual you are. No, no. A Christian, I'm spiritual. I'm not spiritual. What do you say? And in this case, the tempter or Satan was using. Bread. But bread is not the only thing that satisfies the flesh. Sleep satisfies the flesh. And some of you are very lazy. Some of us, our problem is craving for bread. 
What you da na oni padu akura catch us say dey my bread. If you leave you alone, you will never want to go to work. You don't want to work. I've seen people who just don't want to work and all they want is to be spoon-fed. Laziness. The Bible said, arise, O sleeper, and Christ will what? Sign on you. He that loves to sleep comes to poverty. The book of Proverbs said, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little laying on bed, so shall thy poverty come. But the flesh say, my brother, that when you are a pastor, you want to go on evangelism and win souls, the flesh will tell you, and then the my brother do the kakara. So see how be pretty. Your flesh is telling you to sleep. Somebody is dozing right now. Sunday morning, you are dozing. Some of you doze. You doze when you were writing your exam, you fail. When you finish, you want to learn apprenticeship, sewing. Madame Nature wa de pam no woda ma pan ye wa machine awa won sa. Some of you would those in class. Teacher in teaching, you even in check obit mu do sana ni mama question na seat na chi. She said you are all problem ni pana chai. Did you call me? Was no no no, I was praying for you. The devil is a liar. You were delivered from that demon. Obit mu da ni oni mu kura da wa si e. Only move. When your husband was charged, you know, charge, an anointing was on your husband, your husband was in the seventh dimension. <laughs> you, you were still sleeping and dozing. You were delivered from the demon of slumbering. You received power over your flesh. A do Sunday morning, you want to go to church, and then the flesh tells you, I could see our own say, Wiki, you know, you're rough, pa. Oh, boss, what you move. And you see, Madame piled a lot of assignments on you in class. Your lecturer, the flesh now begin to give you reasons why you must sleep and not go to church. Oh, but you, any old year, me da kakra. Eh, see, I could have now one nine. If you have kakra, me fa uba kura, and di kura 20 minutes. Before your eyes will open, about one. Hey, and then someone kwa, sorry. And yes, she passed a kura himself, you man, a year day, next week, you be kwa, sorry. Probably to that day, eh? You're, you're going to church, the word you were going to hear, God had prepared it specifically for you to lift your soul and to deliver you and to send you to your next level. You miss it. Why? Because the flesh is craving for sleep. Some of us, the weakness of the flesh that makes us not walk in the faith is our craving for sex. I had a I had a sorry. It's my to us. But listen, we all have desires. Tell somebody we all have desires. Tell somebody, including the prophet. I don't like the way you are very cold this morning. I don't like it. Are you alive? Huh? And that is why, that is why, listen, if you are here, you are uh, in the position of leadership or authority. Eh? Be careful even the people you bring around you. Are you getting it? Because encrophobia or almost brain greatness are they can't handle the weakness of the greatness. But just as you have weakness in the flesh, your pastor, your administrator, your boss, everybody you meet who has leadership authority over you also have a weakness in the flesh. And the Bible can what the book of Daniel or say the book of the Chamberlain or say. Find me men who are skillful in knowledge, cunning in wisdom, having understanding of science, and can stand in the cause of the king. There are people who can stand in the cause of a king. A king here means a leader. And you be an obey greatness now. Otimo handle the weaknesses of the greatness. But God knows this leader is weak, and yet he chose to make him great. Because there is something called grace when it comes upon a man. It turns your weaknesses into strength. I'm preaching. I'm preaching. Are you getting it? And see, there are people here, their lack of understanding to the weakness of the flesh. I'm a my life, you know. I'm a man coming up. Obia, nye. Utsiana. I don't know any sister when I say, oh, Jano. Open, come, 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 come
if you want to check your own life, your weakness is more serious than the person's own. Except we are not talking about that one. Ah, and then when you when you when you serious, Sophia, I don't want to preach. It's you born say people like that they coil to their cell. They can't find friends. They come to church. They have problem with everybody. Oko osrin oni obi abe kono wa chini hon. Obe ba kwa um kwa phone omu ya kwan kwan do do no wajai. Oko ayi media um media phone omu pe hudo do do. The media be put you light is in. I'm on your case. <laughs> Praise God. You have a problem with everybody. So you don't celebrate anybody. You don't also want anybody to celebrate you. Sad people, listen. And for those of you that are searching for future husbands and spouses, eh? When you be called to be very, very intelligent and wise. You are courting this man or this woman, and who say upper toys, unim toys, teddy bears, cats, dogs, upper toys. It is a sign of depressing. A sign of loneliness, a sign of mimpermihuasem attitude. If you marry them, get ready for cemetery relationship. <laughs> I'm preaching. Because you see, they have been hurt before. They have been hurt before by a trusted friend or by somebody. So they have concluded that Obia and yet fear woman or the Aguni Kirchi. No man is to be trusted. A man is not a pillow for you to lay your head on. You know your problem? You have a, phantom, a fundamental problem of depressing a product of past disappointments. And if you, the person comes to that level, eh, or yet the BBI in isolation, I don't want anybody involved. Because of what they suffered before, but the problem and the truth is, you yourself, who your suspect are, and it is the reason why many people don't find joy in this life. But be a otina na ni bejino. Sa attitude, no ni sa weakness in themselves, the flesh, you know. He will never want to stay there and celebrate anybody for anybody to also celebrate them. So you are cool, you are lonely, you are mimpemi huansem, or basoria. Nobody knows him or her. He also doesn't know anybody. At some crowd, you know, I said, well, nobody will see it. And Ubon said, I was watching a, a safari, eh? And elephants, a group of elephants, some lions, a pride of lions, about 10, were after a group of elephants. Pastor Henry, they are trying to kill the elephant because the, this lion, you, you could see they were hungry. But anytime they make advances, the lions are overpowered by the elephants because they are in the group. Elephants need dorsum. They use their trunk, they use their leg, they use everything. You see it? And the lions followed these elephants for a time until one of the elephants started isolating itself from the group. And immediately it isolated. The pride of lions surrounded it and without any, in no time, they finish it. When the devil is looking for you, he makes you think, all oh, the people God send you away, they are evil people. You see your pastor as bad. Your sofu mommy, mm -mm. The associate pastor, what is that, are you senior pastor now? I don't want to you now. You, you, all the people God brings you, you so, you see, you have a fundamental problem of complexity. A product of either your environment, where you were trained, where you were brought up, or your lack of people to train you. I will not give my child to somebody who grew up, for example, without a father. If my son didn't see me relating to my wife, he grows up and he doesn't know how men treat women. Or what you buy? All that he does is implementing what he learned in movies. So oppressed. Listen, the marriage you see on TV, it is not the marriage in practicality. No, I don't like the way you are quiet on me. Are you getting it? TV is what we are there. yet there. And your cases and sex. But when you come to real life marriage, you will see marriage is responsibility. 
Marriage is character. Marriage is what you bring to the table. Marriage is not about coming to get. Me who ya offenti na ware me, but some papa ana ati timi ama me who aye fe, ana me ma me suna ati timi ama me who aye fa. As I said, by the time I am worried five, ten years, me, my Miss Yamia, I must look better. My education must be better. My finance might be better. You must change my life better than how you pick me. Oba, on in the pub, me, my me, Antina. On in said here, Oba, relating Obama. How would this woman be able to show respect and submission to a man? And he says, church council in Bia in Koso. Na awari ani kwaye. Masiya ni me donan niso do miti ya nkasa ya kwaare. Awari ani wa fundamental problem of lack of understanding to marriage. And that is why, let me talk to you. When pastors and ignorant people start talking, church awari ani a waste of time. Church awari ani a waste of time. The problem is not the church, the problem is you. And we are really be brave go from a da. Yes, it's our warrior. Who my mate is with different? Who papa is with different? And she go see ya. Man, who are warrior? If you have eighty six months, I told the lady. I said, don't go for this. Was a meko. My train ya miyache. Hey, obedi ha di na di na dance here. Some of you know the lady, a doctor of philosophy, a doctor of knowledgeable lady. You see it? Because this small boy when I want to make a you may not like me, but there is something in me you can't deny. <laughs> huh? In the multitude of counseling, there is safety. When you do for now when you obey or chill out some koham for her, you will crush your life. A woman came here, very big woman, a mammy and a doctor in law. Me preach what he for yet here, or soon, sir, your point about my office. So, for a radin, sir, God bless you. If I heard these things you are teaching and this moral lessons you are giving people in this house when I was like the age of this, my children, my life would have been 10 times better than what it is today. Mm. Are you getting it? It's it here, sir. Fundamental weakness now. What we need, me, Muno. That is why we come to church to learn the word of God so that the word of God will polish you. Remove the weaknesses in you. Teach you. Let me see. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Without this word, you will crash. Without this word, near my be But the end, for the end, there is a way that seems right unto a man. By the end, may the Lord deliver you this morning by this message from every fatality of your end. Receive the power and the grace. I can't feel you at all. And he, the flesh, the pavia way, we are sitting in the pavia way, are fighting the pavia way, are sitting in the pavia And I'm going to say, I feel like somebody needs this thing I'm teaching. I feel like God is rescuing somebody from something. Mahu ni amau. Man who near my in life, but as of 27 years, me see me share some of the testimonies and the problem people bring to my office. One time, a bimuba, almost another might be someone said, but when you were getting into this trouble, didn't you see it? So, um, but the truth of this life is, no matter your academics, ah, man who BSc, Bachelor of Sin and Circumstances. Mahu PAD pull him down. Oh, you see, academic brain is not necessarily wisdom and understanding. Paul can first Corinthians is two. I say, for we speak wisdom, yet not the wisdom of this world. We come to naught, but we speak wisdom in the mystery of Him, the mystery of Him. Book knowledge cannot contest it. And uh, 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 uh. I'm not blessing somebody here. And she will flash away. What is? So, who come down near my be a person we are now? We know be now or two for we know soft will be on your mini puppy. No catch us at the way from for her. It's a big blessing. 
Don't be proud. And say, me be a makasa me ya no eno ano me ya. No. I've seen many people who came to this church. They didn't look like anything. I don't want to point anybody, but most of you, when you come, you didn't. I saw you. Huh? But are you preaching? I'm be preaching. I know I can't. I know I pass you. Any all your disrespect in kitty kitty, I am for you. We, man, papa, me dem pay bo. A footyo me can't be sure. I know both know the matter. Anya she. Me can't be sure. I know I bump a yeti. I'm not a smart booby yeti. I know anya she. Yeah, the sa. Ah, 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 ah. Are you here? And kakrank, 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 kakrank. Today, look at your life. You see, you are not rich, but if you cast your mind back, your life is on a highway to. to mm, 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 mm. Tomorrow, by the time, eh, all those who use to mock at you, they will turn at you and say, This is the doing of the Lord. Tomorrow, by the time, I see your destiny becoming a testimony for people in your family. On your standard in your family, standard to society, standard to Ghana. Family will celebrate you, Ghana will celebrate you, society will celebrate you. Many people will serve the living God because of your testimony. And I see somebody here celebrating what your eyes are yet about to see. For blessed is he who have not seen and yet they believe. Faith word, I can't hear you. Did that bless you here? Ah, huh? HTA. To overcome the flood, there's a wisdom we need. But we speak wisdom of God in the mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world, the world unto our glory. And she said, We are saying, We are saying, We are Papa. We are saying, Papa, we are saying, Nobody is wiser or greater than their father. Yes, we are saying, Nobody is greater than their master. A servant cannot be greater than their master. The master of this world is the word. For in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by the word and for the word. There was nothing that ever was made that ever was created without the word. Whether there be principalities, whether there be powers, whether there be thrones, whether there be visible or the invisible, all things were made by the word and for the word. That means that, ladies and gentlemen, if I have the word inside me, by the word, I control demons, I control the world, I control territory, I control forces, and after today, the word is delivered to you. The ancient word of all delivered unto us by that same word, the fathers of faith silence the mouth of lions. They stop the mouth of lions. They point the violence of fire and they put armies to flight. The Bible said by this same word, they stood in faith and they defeated their enemies. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter who is confronting you, whether it is the devil, whether it is witches, whether it is principalities, no matter the enemy, if you rely on this word, your end you shall prevail. Your end you shall win. I see a winner in the house. I see a prevailer in the house. We see the grace on the left. We see the grace on the right. At the back and in front, I see a winner in the making. Lift your voice in the auditorium and give the Lord a shout. I feel a prophesy. Is somebody here? So you, by the word of God, you prevail over the world. Oh, say, Makate. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Let's look at the second enemy, the last of the eye. The last of the eye. When you way, I am my yekelo si kete la kapaya. Mi boro se katele ketele bayante. Eh? Bible say. Eh, 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 give, give me the Matthew 4. I say, I say, the devil to Jesus, he said, I want to show you. Eh, to show means I want you to see. Are you here? He said, look at all the kingdoms of this world. He showed Jesus. He took him to the highest mountain. Eh, please roll that in. Roll me there. Then he, then the devil 
taken him into the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Pinnacle, you see, the highest level of elevation brings the highest level of temptation. Huh? Now that you are here, that nothing is working for you. you. Even if you take a boy, a girlfriend, you can't sponsor her. Eh? And you see, ladies, they don't. <laughs> the sexuality of a woman is not for nothing. It is based on what you have. Mm -hmm. In fact, they see sex as a business. Mm -hmm. In a very silent way. <laughs> you see this, my daughter? Yes, sir. You see the way she is looking? If you want to go and befriend her, she doesn't have a problem. But after she agrees, who bet you are tired wake up? Who bet you are tired as wake up? What are you doing, son? Or bet you are calculating. I know I can't tell you. Or some people retire. Who didn't retire? Some of you got you don't even know retirement. It's it here. Or be a a hiano no. Boni be a wa on timindi. Banyami pejao no sirawa. Now that you you fi a cast mi enu mi ensa siho. Now that who hide down in the city of Accra. Now that you do people come to you for help. You sign checks. You have one bank account in Fidelity, the other in Barclays, the other in Opportunity International. Can I preach? And then. You are done a little susu with bay capital. You know bay capital. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then you have about five checkbooks inside your ecola. And you do when you appear. Somebody come and say, oh, God, you are welcome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then your eyes will begin to tell you. Air condition, you have to get one. You see, your wife, she used to be Coca-Cola sick. But if you see this young girl, I could have been young, me young, Coco Bia or Hanamo, make me shade. Coco for now sound. Imabra, Imabra, you are sexy small, sexy small. It's Mr. Nate, Mr. Nate, sleep while close your eyes. You look at this, my sexy romantic, you see the back, you see the fair color, the fair coloredness. Then you are like, me, dear, no, what two of Me, who, no, no, yes, and no, tear, and come on, one. That time now, now when me, he am a when me kuru 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 kuru. You don't know. I don't like the way you people you are. Can you people? Mommy, where you come from? I won't in this ano. It is a matter of time. Oh, wrinkles will appear. No four way, it will shrink. When you saw your wife, and nobody was giving her bad warfare marks. You know bad warfare marks. She was very. Vital, succulent, Coca-Cola. Oh, you, you, you have to continue the preaching for me. Ah, no way. Who can the team want to cool and no for more? I said the opposite would too free on. What me and me and na the brass are sack. You see this one and you say when I'm in pain and you show. See come back with them. I don't like the way you people you are looking at me. I feel at. I think we have to screw this service. Am I blessing you? Money has come in. Who him say? Obani ni mo abe tiye tuyaka. Time na usi ano na na si kani pini hon. Usi said ya uti ebi a me pelsa. Makuma mutofe. Meni wa nebe u. Minti se nka uma ami ango ukura nka be PF ni koto game. Me who ana bibi yami. The only mosquito in my bed net. The only cockroach in my kitchen. You rub the girl, ah, the girl began to feel like me, my man, and papa promo, no, no. <laughs> then they said, you are the only one I want. Today, you have, you have applied sexual pressure. Tear and wear has happened to her body. And you see, your poverty didn't even make you know how to maintain the woman. Then now, the last of the eye start telling you who looks beautiful than your wife. The devil is a liar. I deliver you from every temptation and snare of the devil. The last of the eye. The last of the eye. Who wants it? 
Niyama bia ube muni bia upebi. Kwanya ube faswa wonsa bekane. Say ya papa. Say ya boni. Because the devil has entered you and is making your eyes see life in the wrong way. You don't care the price you pay. How sinful or wicked your approach to it is. All you are looking for, I must also get this car some. You understand my English? I must also buy this car some. And the thing about money is, the more you get it, the more you fall in love with it and you want more. And in the Bible, say, find that scripture from what say, He that loves silver shall never prosper and they shall come to ruin. Oh, be anyone on Pesca, and to me, can't stop watching of my Bible. Ask myself, ah, but God, is there anybody who doesn't love money? We all love money. You think if you give me money, I'll throw it away. Bring it and see. <laughs> I love money. Money is good, brother. Money makes you confident in life. When you go to shop, you don't ask now where you're saying. Huh? You, 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 uh, you know, a, a new language. You need to add the always to time. Sir, how much is this phone? The phone is thousand. Oh! I don't want to know. Me want to say. Me to my dear, I want to pay. Me not send you money. Then it's like eight phone is today. Me not be able to pay. Well, 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 well. But I want to get it. Oh, and you want to so kakra. Then the person is like, oh, what the? Me, 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 me. Not so hundred for nine hundred, bruh. Oh, Timmy, my five hundred, I won't you. <laughs> and the person, oh, me, me, cry, my Antonis, sir. Oh, what do you mean, Patrick? You're the last seven hundred. And the person, oh, seven, dear, and you're the last, pa, my, you know, eight hundred and ninety, me, the ten cities, I tell. Yay, four, you dear. No, dear, two, no, no, no. Okay, ah, bro, you are the son of my nephew, Hupa. No, sir, bro, until we see four inches, same pan, and the budget. I feel the pan is shallow. We must say we must manage it. Then they are like, okay, who the who the last Korean yan eight fifty. Ah, I feel. Si kano so shallow. No, you see, prepare your home home. You don't get it. Obi oya pepe on. Oya ni kura na owa. Si kan odi be kwa kuto adro. Aye ni ya. Kratin i pa. Because oh meti ti aha ya no. Because aha ni e free. Are you getting it? Pepe. Bible say monya na monche mo mu ye o pepe ho. Because I say, and you only part there when your man abroad show me nothing for you. And you want say, sir, last of the world, you know. The man who feel say, who check your bank accounts now and answer your wallet and your pocket now. We say, oh, me see can hear about ten thousand. That last of the uh, world, you know. A a man who impresses you can so bet it. Who check your bank accounts and do when you are supposed to walk home? Who born some man who are walk home? Ah. Look at my bank accounts. And your pride. And to who when you cry now, as I said, this can be solved problem. No, that spirit say, don't spend the money. Now, Musi on coming. Not this short pass. I will pass. I will be pretty. Can say be so see. Ah yeah 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 yeah. And yeah, I saw the crown fan out there. You see your face. I cast the devil out of your life today. Today. May you not die to glorify money. Money. May money be disgraced in your life today. Sikadi me gua si wa brabom. May God bless you and make you rich. That you will use money to solve problems and not save money for problems to swallow you. I don't feel your presence in the auditorium at all. Those who love money will never have enough. How meaningless to think that will bring true happiness. The many money you have is not to add what add to your joy and your happiness in this life. 
And he said, what did he say? Who cast? What dime? Who she cast? Who bank account balance? Those things in the morning, let me tell you. I have been very, very, very poor before. And by the grace of God, I'm not rich, but I have also seen a little success in life. But I want to tell you, the more God adds wealth and increase or riches to you, the more your sorrows multiply. Every successful person will tell you this. She come back with someone. I think I've got a woman down. Ministry, as of you, my own. Among my sheer allergies, politicians, rich people, politicians, your mom in the office, crying. They have dollars. You know dollars? Ah? Me sheer politician, be obey any bars, you say $600,000. Investment. I don't want to say something. But the kidney pro. But the liver. My bomb pile, my crop, why I bomb pumpers, but I'm not first. And he said, Oh, we'll trying that we see Kabaya do one when you are here. It's the deception of the devil. Yeah. Huh? I need you, young Tom. Miss Anisia, you're not there. You don't need to be read before you listen. Sometimes I see very happily married couples. And I wish, I said, what makes you love this lady? I said, Sofo, they are me one. No, I'm not so bad. At the end of the day, I said, Sofo, I'm not so bad. I said, Sofo, I'm not so bad. But I'm not so bad. 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 But if you see the way they are happy, they bath together, they eat together, they go to church. Obey man, akura ba ne buno kura ne irinsa. Oba, e ya fe. But obiso, on fasi ka nyashi. De biya anto kwa weni fi. De biya asofu si si oni ne irinte. Listen, money is one of the many means to an end, but not an end to every means. And all those who are clapping, may the Lord open your eyes and I'll reach you. I said, may the Lord open your eyes and I'll reach you. Is somebody here? If you see way, a camu ako, any money money na. One day we will all get up and this world is no more there. Have you asked yourself where did I come from? How did I end up here? Have you gone to a funeral before? A human being like you. Who had passion for things like you? They used to eat like you. They wee wee like you. They love good things like you. And their hand is at them like nobody told them to do attention, but they are attention. <laughs> Flies are sitting on their nose. They can't drive them away. And somebody have to dress their face for them. Somebody have to bath them. When you are alive, even if your dress is falling off small, you, 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 you are covering yourself now. And then when he finished, he will determine this dress, I don't like, go and bring this one. And they put it on you. Then the pastor say, dust to the dust. Uh, what? Ask to us. The spirit to the father. The lower you see his feet. Have you ever seen somebody that they bury him in the sky? No, calm down. Calm down. I see this someone bringing life into your dead situation. I see. And then I feel like preaching to somebody. I feel like preaching to somebody. Did, did I bless you? Did I bless you? Proverbs chapter 30, verse 7 and 9. Maybe 15 minutes of seven to do, we go home. Is somebody blood this morning? This church, eh, if you are not a serious Christian, you can't stay in this house. All the people that come here, they leave. They have their self weakness in them and their agenda, which they can't substitute for the word of God. 
So when I preach like this, no one shin and no one pad. I can't say in detail. When I go to my Roman Catholic and my ambassador, the pastor doesn't talk like this. There, nobody tell me what is wrong. Ha! You can go to Basri. Here, I will tell you the truth. Talk to them, talk to me, talk to I will preach you God's undiluted and uncompromising word. Nothing is bigger than the word of God. All the people that came to the church in humility submitted to the word, to teaching, to directing. Today, they are not rich, but their name is not on the poverty list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? It is a matter of time. So I will put your mirror somewhere. Listen, let me tell you, I have prophecy you. Or see, in, in this last day, I will hear you. Life is not getting any better. Don't let any pastor deceive you. The world is not getting better. Every day, problems are going to increase in our world. Now, if you used to travel before you are traveling, now you have to do, go and do COVID-19 tests. Mm -hmm. You have to fill some forms. Mm -hmm. You have to vaccinate, mm -hmm. like they used to do in the yellow fever era. Eh? The world is changing. So if you don't also change and adapt more graciously in the world, this world will overcome you. But to overcome the world, you need the word. The word is your own. Did, did that bless you? So listen to David, the richest man that ever lived in the world, in his day. Or say, two things have I required of thee. Two, not one, not more, two. The two, no, they are in conflict. He said, two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not. Before I die, at all cause these two things, God, let me have it before I go to my grave. And then what are the two? He said, remove far from me vanity and lies. Vanity and lies. Vanity and lies come to you because of your lack of these two things. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Hey, hey. People, look at my face. I want to talk to you and, cl and close. Yeah. Some of you are quitting marriages because your husband is poor. Some of you here, you don't love certain men because they don't have some money in their bank accounts. When I saw my wife, eh? eh? Today, I'm, I'm a fine boy. <laughs> Those days, if you see the way I dress, if you were here, I propose to you, you will never look at my face. She was well employed, administrative manager for a multilateral company. Not a co company, not money facility. Pastor, you didn't know the house. You were staying there. Everything. And, 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 and I, I just finished university. I don't have team. You know, I don't have team. I got married to her. Life was nice until everything started going backward. Your love for the lady and for the man will be tested. Anybody you say you love, it will be tested. So check your motive for telling that woman you love her and for telling that man you love her. If the thing that makes you love them is taken away, can you still confess you love them? You love me because I am very fair colored. Me nyasi de nasa me trusteni bens. Will you still look at my face? Can you look at my face and say, darling, sweetheart, sweetie pie? Can you still look at my face and say, Ami? Your motive for loving me is outwardly. If that thing vanishes, can you still look at my person on the inside and say, you are the one I want to love? David say, near mommy, you know, poverty and riches. Hey, can I talk to you five minutes and we close? <laughs> if sa near mommy, you know, you know, bow a bravo one, sa money, me, you know, what boss, no, obey you. If you are somebody who is poor, you will use lies to always survive. You will steal and dupe and use 419 on the internet to defraud. You will tell somebody, eh? 
My mother is the queen of Buckingham Palace. In fact, Prince Harry is my brother. If you marry me, I'll make you good. The woman will marry you only to discover that your pocket cannot sink. You are poor. So you have to use lies even to propose. When you are poor, you do invoicing and the invoicing in your office to steal from the coffers of your organization. Poverty, lies. Poverty makes you fall in vanity. You take a gun, you kill somebody, you take their money. If the tail of a cow did not remain at the tail forever, you that kill it and took it, you think it will remain in your hand forever. It is vanity. I'm preaching to you. Am I preaching to somebody here? And she said, We are poor. You will always walk in vanity and lies. But riches is worse. I don't want to go there. Wunyasika, and throw, and throw. You tell the lady, men worry. Minimum crop for a more cancer, wa worry or bow worry for, but wa cancer or be mafu for a say, or ni nukunukura ni ba. Some of you, eh? This last of the eye, eh? We are seeing who who there. When you open it, fear. Sabio Kafra, in your main friends, and Manu says, You know, may my food do. You yeah, do. Your problem is that, and may more more she can't that cash. I can see you know, you, you think your husband or more bra. And if you check your real motive, it is not because you love that, uh, you can't say, she can eat mano, you see, can and I'll pay. Mahuma and Bema for Mukwa because of Aburuti. And this go for all of you here, ladies, listen to me. By the grace of God, this is your pastor, Matina Aburuti. May the gospel were yet in Europe, from France to Italy, Germany, Holland, Canada, all their provinces, Matini. But one thing is sure. Senyamia for one kwa Aburuti. Mirikana would be coyano. What is some Bricana Besser Revenge? You won't even get the time to turn like this. Reverse. Kick, crack, 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 and you come back. Because I have met people in abroad sleeping on the bridge. Or the bridge, or the bridge, I say. Some women have married men and got into a bridge. Till today, they haven't seen where their husband who came to marry them is sleeping or staying. The reason being that the man lied to her. And because this woman have a passion for abroad, follow the man, travel to abroad. Okodi wanu be mana wari wani ma. O do airport wapi wa se. I am late at work, so my friend is picking you. Na dam frefa na wadini kofia ni kofia. Na dam friend na kwa kote na nijeng. A software o mo follow brochure across your ministry. Ne yiri wo hakama. Or could preach about who one more than you are quite happy or say a higher than a glass in Kwan. Glass in Kwan. No, 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 no. Today, Jonas is preaching for me today in church. Glass in Kwan, glass in Kwan. The next thing you know, me take it here, say, me visa who as a saw of pepper. I feel you pan up what's not in China say, I'm gonna follow you, baby. I'm a you are welcome. After three weeks, they don't want to accommodate you again. Girl, can I say to me? Now, down for no London or Kwa, now I change your kind of saying. I'm a electricity card, you know. What talk credit ni good to know or they are saying to me. And some are back. Or Kwa, now I change. Now, snow time. I want no heater on TV. TV. Pono ne kula ya di ama electricity on TV pie. No, sir, I want him na oh, he had to call police for the police to carry her back to Ghana. And she said, "Nya nya me na do." Listen, if God said you will stay in Ghana and prosper, who but turn eyes shut at you will prosper. 
The God of America, Canada, and Europe is the God of Ghana. Don't let any abrotina person deceive you. Ladies and gentlemen, the God I serve is the God of everywhere. He can bless you in Ghana. He can bless you in abroad. He can bless you in Africa. God is a God who said, the silver and the gold are mine. The cattle on the cloudy hills, they belong to me. And from today, if that God is your God, may he settle you in Ghana. May he bless you in Ghana. May he make you rich in Ghana. Your friends will travel abroad, but when they come, they will still depend on you. They will see the glory of the Lord in your life. They will come to you and say, Akoshi how did you come this far? And you will tell them, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of God. May you receive a testimony. May you receive a miracle in your life today. Child of God, lift your voice in the auditorium and give the Lord a shout. You are blessed. All the houses I have, I build them before I travel. Nyanku ponsi obe shirawa. Upa mayen fa unko se aminem obe yuwa piye. Just be faithful to God. Stop chasing abroad. Stop. You are disgracing God. Opportunity now, banana sa diye bi na uko suya na se bi bi na koya. I support it. Go. It's good. Scholarship. Go and study business. Go and do it. A juma bi do kesiye utia work permit koya na jiku ko. But don't trade your integrity. Don't trade your God. Don't let the last of the riches of this world push you. David is say, "Send me one riches be bra." Maybe the bit in your feet. We need more. How many rich people are in church? Some of you are sitting here very innocent. And Crophobia, but if you are me who are more, because some of you are not moving in the world. This pastor, the grace on me, have helped most of the young ladies and guys in the church. You came here the way you used to dress. I saw it. Some of you came here jobless. Some of you came here, you couldn't even find for yourself in school. We help you. Today, after God helped you, you finish the school. You got a little favor here, a little favor here. You boosted the church. You boosted me. You said nothing in the church is good. It is not nothing. Who is kakra? Who is success kakra? It is a sirawa. Be very, very, very careful. You see, me want to that the bill. I have some old clothes in my wardrobe. I don't throw them away. Anytime my wife says, no, no, let's throw these things away. What are you doing with it? I say, no, let it be there. Anytime I open the wardrobe, I see the nice suit from Turkey, from UK, from Canada, from China. I see different assortment. You see your pastor, I can dress you. I can dress you. No, no, don't go there. Miss Shadan is soon addressing. I, I start dressing before I buy it. Me decide the color. Me pay any said the attire and a bar. Me pay say look on me. Now my quarter. And I don't get buy because it's a suit. No, no, no. If you want to buy me, you more ninda o, more ninda Don't buy me just anything. Don't buy it. Don't. Don't buy it. I know how to dress. You understand me? And then you came to sit here. Now everything is nice. What was that? Oh, you the fee. Me pesa me kan se mbi chira o. Oh, hiya be bire. Anase sika be bire. Either of them, no. It has the power in this world to remove you far from God and send you into evil. And the devil say, Near mommy anyway, a rabbit, give me neither of them. Near mommy, you know, pet, Jimmy Finn, Conton Pon, now betting I have Conton Pon in it, aye, a who would yana, who bet me a year free me so, and I saw you, oh, he answered it. Sika be free me so. 
Ah, until about Paul say, ye nyan ye ye be di. Any what is enough for us, sir. Enough no doesn't means a ye hiyan ana obo mpa ye pe. Obi ani mi visi. Mi mi visi ni ekura mi no. Nyami ni mi say, o ma mi ten billion dollars kwa o ma kano suma e nsun visi ni no. E ti mi bo mpa ye a mi fe iti no. It is in billions. E nyamba ye na nchese mi nko bo koro no. Se nyami di pa. When you say, I'm in a best of VC, no, dear man. And to say, Yamu, a power sua, a bet mamma wire bonnie. See, Tap, when you're in a peace sua, a bet mamma wire bonnie. And see, this is how God proved the righteousness of the Christian. It's either He make you more rich or more poor. If you become more poor, your faith can die and you misbehave with your slave and die. And you become more rich. What do you see? Come back, boy, in your full pool. It is a name person or so sha. Or bet me a man who said that bow so. Or bet me some more when you see cancel pa. Into me sit out in social media. I will not win. She is said the way on your because no condition is permanent. Oh, the Christians are clapping. Mm. May the last part way air connect the Trump 8 15 to 18 year coffee or say less. Eh? That's one. Highlight the less. Eh? Less I be fool. Highlight it to the end. Quick. Money blue or green or something. I want to show them something fast. Let's read that portion. Can, please, can you see from the projector? Oh, you are cold on me. Can you see what, what I'm showing you? Ah, uh, let's read it. You ready to go? Uh-huh. 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 Did you see it? So you see that both extreme cases of riches and poverty can make you deny your faith in God. I pray for all of you that Mumu be in our best radio than we. I suffer more fear. Nyamemba, mu amu do radio, mu amu sum nyami wo fear. May none of you ever beg. On nyami masika ni biya nukudan upon you in your lifetime. Nyami ma babi a wan kasa ufi a ubetinam uka ubeti. May the Lord establish you and give you oh 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 oh. And this a or see a nyami a eh? Di ana me ye. Let's I be poor and steal. He had the corona ba, and the child of God cannot steal. Ujia, Ujia, or by the cell phone, and if Papa knows Kapaba, he had time to buy it. Was not Oyam prayer called Dian in a wedding. Stealing the food of swines. Near Dian, the Papa Po, swine food. You will eat it. Poverty. And you, you know, you fear God, you love God, but this sin you are committing, eh, you are committing it for survival because you are poor. May it not never become your portion for the rest of your life. Uh, and then he said, when I am full too, eh, I will deny God and say, who is the Lord? So if you are full too, you put your trust in your money more than God. You think if anything happens to you in this life, you can use money to fix. But let me tell you, money has limited you. Go and read the book of Genesis. Bible says, I think Genesis 35 or so. I say, in, in those days, money lost value. And the children of Egypt came to Joseph and said, Give our food to eat. Why must we die? For we perish. And money has lost its value. They said, Money has lost value. Until you, you can come to a place, you have money. I work in a hospital. A woman and her husband are come from Israel. Very rich. The man has a small equal. I was then working as a dispensing chemist in the pharmacy. Eh? Back one or back one, we are back one in there. You know that one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. And the man said, Of oh, Rami Doctor, me your doctor will be chained to you. And a doctor for a more hanum will be unto me, Sammy Yadi, mammy. Me ba, she can't go back, you will be over to me, and me on fat. Some can say be a one, be no Papa, not be any dollars. You know, dollars. The way you Nigeria people say dollars. You know, dollars. When you HIV, and I dear no asana man a cancer of the liver. Oh, what best is see a Daniel beer company cement dog for iron rod. Oh, who dollars have lost value. Oh, Kulasika, but no man can help him to solve. Won't move for Sikan Tonka. I'm telling you. It is true. Don't think, listen, if anything will make you lose God, then better lose that thing. Yes, sir. Better. It is Deuteronomy chapter 8 18. For for fact, it is a radical change draft for no tea. For family 15. Okay, I have cried. I have cried. Lest when thou hast eaten and full, you see, hey, what did they mean? I can't say, I said, what Jimmy saw? You don't see Obia no Obia amount. You see it, but whatever is giving you that foolish confidence, you will lose it tomorrow. Ah, uh, and fool and had built goodly houses. Uh, please, are you watching the scripture? I uh, built what? Goodly. This is God talking and warning the children of Israel. He said, "I am taking you from Egypt to the promised land. I don't have a problem with that." But after I have taken you there and you have eaten and you are full and you have built goodly houses and dwell therein, and when thy herds and thy flock multiply and thy silver, your money, your bank accounts, your gold is also multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied. Huh? Watch it. Oh, Yako Lesekate Yante. Eh? Then thy heart is lifted up. Wakuma ahuma swobe boom. Can you see a good word? Are you watching this thing? And see, this is a warning to this. It doesn't respect a pastor. Matiti are so full of fear. Who came here? Nothing. When they saw elevation, they said, Who is this short boy to, call, to be called my general overseer? They boosted me. They see people in the church, they followed them, they went away. One girl was sitting here, prostitute. I converted her from circle. Prostitute. Professional and legal prostitute. What was your slavery? I would be any so. Or would be any dignity womb. Who near Sika for another? Wait, Ojina, why who? Who manifests in this club? Baba Mama. Converted her. Meaning, my wife knows the story. Theodora knows her. Kakra, 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 kakra. Or didn't you humor ready? And no pono or quanimoye. Nam say, and yashi, or koyebu nam say, don't worry, I will help you to take care of the baby. Me pampa ni sa, no kowo ya nam se fa kora ni koma wuma ami no unko school. Let us begin again in Accra. I asked my wife, at some point, I even supported her to rent. Came to the office, we were in a five day dry fasting. We didn't to fast, it was over to my three days. Ye we a ye o su. Then you said, Pastor, me per juma, o bom pa ya mami na nyami mama juma na. Me can time o o alter we so. Me sum nyami me in kwanda yina life we me inge biedi. When I put my hands on the lady's head, we were breaking the fasting. The Lord opened my eyes. I saw a bank with red and black color. I said, there's a bank with red and black color employing you. Ye we a fasting, no, I need you now. Now, now, down for Baker Chen, said SSD Bank, who said he for employed and grow for. Applied. They eventually employed this girl. She was taking not less than 4,000 CDs at that, and it was low to case here. Because Obi Ojina Secular, all the 10 CD, 50 CD, 50 CD, no one buying them, they are a survivor. But now, hey, hey, I'm sorry, I'm let her even join the choir. I sanctified the choir in Jesus' name. <laughs> one foolish pastor I took from nowhere brought up, who also saw small, small success, told her, 
this pastor has turned the church into a financial empire. So let us quit and start our own. They all left. Recently, I heard she had gotten married and given birth. The rest is history. And some be a masha as here today. I told the Lord, I said, may this girl never make mistake and come here because I will deal with her. Huh? Listen to me carefully. God is going to bless you. And God is going to really prosper your end. But listen, listen. After the Lord has blessed you, the people that you met when you were on your way going up, they are the same you will meet when you are coming down. So be careful how you treat people when you get to the top. Because tomorrow, eh, when the devil hits you, he will ask you questions. The same people who helped you to answer him yesterday must help you to answer him tomorrow. I'm preaching to you. I'm preaching. This weekend, how many of you were at our breakthrough service on Friday? A lady came here. I was so quite sorry, Pentecost. About last three weeks or two. Ah. You, you saw the lady, my brother, you saw the lady. A lady who had become pregnant. I warned him, but, eh? Uh, another one came, one who called him in Kaino. Or see, it was during our 40 day fasting. We were worried for 10 years. Yesterday he was at the office. He brought me a fast seed I collected. I'm still chopping a new meal here. Ah? Theo! You, 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 you may not like me, but you will need me tomorrow. Yes, so even if you are going to leave, leave respectfully. Because when you knock my door tomorrow after the devil has also knocked your door, I will shut the door on you. You cannot fool God and fool people all the time. One day you will also be fooled. The seeds we saw today, we will reap tomorrow. Then he said, Thy heart is lifted, oh, and thou forget the Lord thy God. We brought thee from out. One of the sin in this world is the sin of forgetfulness. I wish I had time. I'm telling you. Forgetfulness. If I ask you what is sin right now, a lot of you will say, sin is fornication. Sin is adultery. Sin means stealing. Sin means beating somebody without a just cause. But in the sight of God, the greatest sin. Hey, Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. For mommy, your best thing about her, Shadia Shadia Hebrews chapter 6 and Obia Bia on Kai Mami. Ah, for God is not unrighteous to forget. Did you see it? So, people who forget what others have done for them, God is saying you are an unrighteous person. It's in the sight of God, sin is not unjust, but forgetfulness. Unrighteousness is sin. When somebody has helped you before, supported you before, that time you couldn't help yourself. You are working like Obia or Pebriyewu. And this person said, you can't die now. Inspired you, encouraged you, supported. You saw, you, you, you got something to hold at the top and you say, I don't need you. Huh? Mm -hmm. You first said, he is not unrighteous right to forget your work of labor and your love, which he has shown toward his name. In that, he has ministered to the saints and do minister. So God is righteous because he doesn't forget. Even when you a human being, sinful human being, you have done God good, he doesn't forget. How much more you, a weak human being, forgetting what God and others have done for you? You are a sinner. You got it? So he said, please, for the throne of minute to Kabo I feel something here today, I'll tell you. Father the mommy, Father the mommy, very fast. Eh? Then thy heart is lifted, and thou forget the Lord thy God. We brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. From the house of bondage, 15. Eh? Who led thee through that great terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought? These were type of demons who were fighting you in your drought season. And you were using book and degree to fight. 
and the Lord gave you a man of God, a pastor, somebody who will use grace and anointing to fight the demons. Your life done better now. Where there was no water, who brought thee forth? Water out of the rock of the flint. And who fed thee in the wilderness with manna? Wait, thy fathers knew not. Some of you, God have given you things by coming here. Your mother and your father has never enjoyed that grace or blessing in their lifetime. I'm telling you, some of you, hey, some of you, eh, and near my be a number one, more by a hand on me by being a medium of course, he's saying, Who show when you show a bush, you know, your mother, your siblings, none of the people in the family is having that kind of glorious life you are living now. God said, This is what I have done for you. Your father didn't know not that he might humble thee and that he might prove thee, and the land that will prove thee. You see, I was telling you. That when God blesses you, He's proving your righteousness. It's in a meeting in Sidani Ma won or she will subine. In Sidani Cassia Pani or Ho, there's a Sia ne Kurawano or the Sawa Kuma, she said, Say, may the Kituai Mount Nasa will subine and say, Sadia, and you can see any bow bit near the moon or Kore. Ah, prove me. Is he proving this? I'm proving this to do the good at the latter end. At the latter end. So when God gives you something, that thing is not the end. He is proving you that the end will be better. For better is the end of a matter than the beginning thereof. Then Wakuma, you're proud. Then you say to yourself, please watch it. Please roll with me this 18. Eh? Eh? And thou say now in thy heart, my power and my might, eh, the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth. They say they always say they wow wow more than me. Who on cross for mutaka? Me nobody helped me. Nobody made me who I am. No, nobody can tell me what to do because I am myself. Eh? Obina wo. Open a woo, who my mates now would teach you and Kawa, maybe I say. Open a woo, open a toy, the animal would want you couldn't bath yourself, watch for yourself, who poop, who have been a chuchu to. When they go, my machine, the pump will be a young man, and what you are being Somebody made you. So if you see somebody who said, Nobody made me, nobody made me, half for me, nobody helped me, nobody can bluff for me, or you're proud. Oh, Jimmy, for Kana Yan Kanchero. Huh? Huh? My power, my might, and has gotten me this way. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Now he's giving them a charge. I'm finishing now. Watch it. Huh? For it is he that gives the power to get wealth. So saying nobody help you means you don't even know how you came to where you are. Because people don't succeed in life for nothing, there is always power to propel you forward. Are you getting it? Me pacha, ano pa u sorry ya u nyang kumasa opesa obahan u sorry ya na u ya na uti ya. Chao puro ka, ka ano me pacha u inji ni nyang pacho ni edigu. Etu you can't tell me mi ana me baha. Nobody brought me here. At least the car brought you here. And the church in Nagu. I'm ah, sorry, I need it. Hey, my mama, my pong, oh, be so, be say. Did you like the pastor today? As the person, did, did you like the pastor today? <laughs> what did the person say? Yeah. If the person didn't talk or say anything and the nose is shaking, not the person, please. Are you a suspect? Are you a suspect? Are you the one the pastor is talking to? And give the Lord a clap offering and stand to your feet. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? You know, blessed. Huh? Three enemies in my jail last one. Damn, call. Buy my book. Physically incorrect. The sermon is inside. Did I bless you? 
Ah. Yeah. Yeah, we bomb fire one minute and we close. But listen. Munti emi pa, munti emi. Munti emi. The Lord told me audibly this morning in my office. None of the people listening to you in this service will be put to shame. Yeah. <laughs> Audible voice. Yeah. Me, my life is a testimony. My opposition. Unfaithful sons and daughters. Proud sons and daughters. People who are ungrateful. I have gone every length for them. And they have disappointed my heart. When I started serving the Lord, they were mocking at me and they said, this thing will get to nowhere. They teased me. They gave me names. But I didn't give up. This same word of God I'm preaching to you became my confidence and my guide. And a little here, a little there, precept upon precept, prayer, fasting, righteousness, me she has a kakra, me sorry kakra, me ye me kakra. Me, you know me, me fami me reyen see you. But today, when those people see me, uh, they bow their heads and they say, Ajakon, what happened to you? I want to tell you, no matter said the officer no pay what brother, but you have an opportunity to talk to God for the next two minutes. Your life will always get better at the end than where it has been before. You will never be put to shame. Some of you here, it looks as if you feel like giving up, killing yourself. The problems you find yourself in make you feel like you, you, life is not even worth living anymore. But I'm standing on God's word and I'm giving you opportunity to pray for just two minutes. Something will happen here. Tell the Lord that Father, you know my journey in this world. The good, the ugly, the bad, the weakness of my flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life, all the enemies to my life. Let my end be beautiful than it is today and give me a safe ending. And let my life become a testimony unto others. Lift your voice and begin to speak to Jehovah. Every 
never give up on you. I stretch my hands towards you. And I pray for you this morning. That the Lord of our, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. That the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened. In your pursuits in this life, your journey to destiny, and in all your battles against the unseen forces of darkness. The Lord open your eyes. The Lord grant you upper hand and dominion in all your battles. That at the end you will win. That at the end your victory in Christ will manifest speedily. May every disease in your body be healed. May every attack on your health be attacked this morning with prayer. May the anointing irradiate your soul, your body, and your spirit. And may your body receive a refreshing. I pray for those of you that are lacking ideas in life. May the angel of the Lord appear unto you. May you hear a word from behind you. May the Lord order yourselves into pleasant places. I declare today that from when for the thousands shall fall at your side, ten thousands will fall all around you. May he never come near you. With your eyes alone, I declare you will see the fall of the wicked that rises up against you. I speak a word over you. The word of God that is uncompromising and unadulterated. The incorruptible word. May it fight every corruption in your life. May it defeat every plan of the enemy and cause all your adversaries to be disappointed. The evil they spoke and the solid demand for your destruction and your death. May they never see it coming to pass in your life. May all of them be disappointed from today in the name of Jesus. A sofwa mu ane mu amu ministry enyini. Nyami a sofwa mu muni di amonye. Sepers, heads of departments, children of God that are discouraged. I speak a word of courage over your life. Be strong and be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. I declare today that you have come to Mount Zion, the city of God, the holy Jerusalem, where the company of numerous angels are operating. The spirit of just men made perfect. God, the judge of all, Elohim, the father. I pray, may all the authority of heaven back your life from today. May all you are doing in life from today begin to prosper in your hand. And may anybody who testify good about you, may heaven testify good about them. May anybody that use lies and pretends to testify falsity about you, may heaven dilute their testimony in the name of Jesus. Now I feel that you are coming with NCU and MUU. The other one is a person who is a NCU. I feel I will have a Musio, Nkonsanya Chile, Adrenji, Ohia, Empatuo, Mekrasino, Abrabaso. Me say Mekrasino, Abrabaso. And you are not going to be able to do it, but you are not going to be able to do it. I cross it in the name of Jesus. And may every, is there anybody here called Diana? I want to pray for Diana. Who? No. If there is any Diana here, please walk to me. Are you Diana? I heard a sound from my left. You are sick. You are sick. I see in exactly six months, you are going to leave the world. I saw the arrow. The arrow. Do I am looking at this woman and this woman, they are putting you in a casket. 
They are putting you. I was praying and the Lord said, see the barrier of Diana. I saw the thing vividly. And that's why I stopped the prayer suddenly. And the Lord said, deliver her. Yeah, we be developed poor body. Huh? I've been saying, I told my sister that I'm having some sensation. Uh, who been your stroke? Yes. Huh? Because. to me in 204. Who prophesied to you? A certain. A certain pastor. pastor. Yes, please. Okay. I don't know you. I don't know you. Okay. Uh, have you met before? Yes, uh, professor. Madam, you had a dream. You found yourself in the cemetery. You had a dream. This is about three months back. You saw yourself in the place where it was like they have put a lot of boxes. You didn't understand. These are the coffins of people they are burying. And they show the thing at you. This is coming from your family. I'm going to deliver this woman. You see, this is why I keep telling you, church has no substitutes. You can't substitute church with anything. And from the Volta region, I saw the arrow. Kepeli kata la kata si kle te 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 te. Eh? Koni yos, omu di mamini sefem. I'm seeing it barrier. Obenya stroke. Madam, you want to sleep? You are feeling it. Nyamana meka osi the sense. Eh? Mama ne mai. What's that? I told my sister this. Why is your sister? Why is your sister? Come, call your sister. I told her that I'm feeling some sense. Call your sister. Let me pray for your sister. Dinah sister, are you here? Is she here? She's here. She's here. Come on. Hey. Let me pray for both of you. Hey. Where do you come from? Are you a Votarian? Yes, please. I saw it. Hey. I saw it. Karo <laughs> Kape. Tutu mana mama me. Tutu mana mama me. Tutu mana mama me. Everybody. Feel the presence of God. One me ngakopa, one me yarisafu, one me yachesufu. Oh, what a mighty God we say! What a mighty God we say! Tutu mana mama me, tutu mana mama me. Hey, ready? Tutu mana mama me. I shall be by the head. He came and he died. Can you worship the Lord for one minute? He looks like he's suffering in the atmosphere. Because he, he can't deny.
tell you. Are you twins? No. Huh? You follow her. Don't cry. God is in this place. You are welcome to Faith Work Charismatic Ministries. This is the prayer house. What did your sister tell you? She told me that she is feeling some burning sensation on her. Since when? When did he tell you this? Yesterday. Yesterday. So, yeah. God brought you here. The Lord ordered your step to be here. Amen. I saw an arrow from your hometown hitting your sister. They showed the thing first to her in a dream. She didn't take heed to it because she didn't understand the dream. I saw her casket and I saw they are lowering her deep down. And then the Lord said, See Dinah, they are burying her. I mentioned that I was closing. You see, I was closing. I was praying to bless you to close. But as the Lord would have it, and as my spirit will have it, the Lord carried me to the place. A wizard. Obey my two out of the way. A wizard. I saw it. The Lord carried me to the shrine. And I saw that thing. It's a time sensitive attack. And I saw Kama Sutele Katesi Kele Katesi Lente. 23rd February 2022 will be your exit from the earth. I'm standing and watching. But as the Lord liveth and as my soul liveth, today, today, the snare is broken. And if there are Christians, I expect you to behave. Pour oil on the woman. May this oil turn fire on your life. And I command the arrow, lay hands on her. Pray for, pray for her, quick. I command the arrow to go back. Go, 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 go. By the counting of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pray. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Yeah, 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 look at it, look at it. Don't leave her. It's going, it's going, it's over. It's over. Clap and pray. Clap and pray. Clap and pray. Be better. Be better. What's up for my slow? Don't pop out the fire. Fire. By the counting of five. The second arrow is leaving you. It's over. It's over. Asa. 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 Find it to put her down. It's over. Put her down. It's over. It's over. Find it to her. Find it to her. Thank you, Jesus. Find it to her. More find it to her. She's, she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Lift her. Lift her. Bring her. Thank you, Jesus. You are free. Death has no power over you, right? Eh? Death has no power over you. Death has no power over you. Auntie Dinah, you are free. You are free. You shall not die, but you shall live to declare the words of God. Pause. Are you clapping? Are you clapping?
seats and package an offering unto the Lord. Zebadal shall remember the Lord thy God. Your going out, your coming in, it has been by his power. Remember the Lord thy God 